so we will see some problems based on chemical equilibrium that is kc equal to uh, kp equal to kc rt delta n so a reversible reaction s2 i2 hi in equilibrium has s2 equal to uh, 0.5 mole uh, s2 uh, i2 0.5 mole and hi is 1.23 in one liter flask if suddenly 0.6 mole of hi is removed if you remove this much mole of hi so what is the new equilibrium concentration so we can see right here s2 plus i2 so it will give you 2 hi so again so equilibrium concentration is equilibrium concentration this is given here 0.5 this is your again 0.5 and this will be your so 1.23 so kc will be your how much kc will be 1.23 so divide by a so whole square and this will be 0 0.5 whole square so on solving you will get 6.05 okay so removing how much mole Reviewing here 0.6 mole. So remove 6 moles. So Kc will not change. Kc is fixed. So Kc will be your fixed. So unfixed. So what will happen? Right here 6.05. This implies that now new SA. This will be how much? This will be S2 plus I2. Okay. So here we are adding. So again this is your 0.5 mole. This is your 0.5 mole. And this will be your 0 0.63. 63 means how much? 1.23 minus 0.5 so what will happen not one at 0.6 so we'll get here uh, 0.63 so on removing hi so we this we are removing so here we'll get uh, 0.5 minus 6 0.5 minus x so this is your at equilibrium okay so this is you will get here here 0.63 plus x so again if you solve it so again we know that 6.05 is the case the case will be fixed and this will be a point 0.63 plus x this is your whole square and divide by this is your point 0.5 minus x whole square so on solving so we will get here x is equal to 0 0.134 so concentration of i2 will be how much this will be equal to h2 and this is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.134 so answer will be 366 so this is our answer similarly concentration of hi will be how much this is 0 0.63 plus 2 into 0 0.134 so here we answer 0 0.8898 so this is our answer so at 700 kelvin hydrogen bromine and react to form HBr. The value of K for this reaction is for the reaction 5 to 10 power 8. This, this is the case. So this is a very large value. So calculate the mole of H2Br2 HBr at equilibrium if a mixture is 0.6 mole of H2 and 0.2 mole of Br2 is heated to 700 Kelvin. So Kc is 5 into 10 power 8. So this is very large value. So reaction will be complete. Okay, reaction will be complete. So we can write here S2 plus Br2, it will give you uh, 2 HBr. The so reaction is complete, almost complete. So we can write here equilibrium also. This is your 0 0.6, this is your 0 0.2 initial, initial moles. So this will be your given 0. So at equilibrium, at equilibrium, so this will be your 0.4 and this is your 0. So this is completely consumed and we will get here 4. So HBr is this much mole bromine is 0 okay and h2 is your this much more so this is our answer so h2 will be 0 0.2 hbr will be 0 0.4 no, and br2 will be 0 so this is our answer okay now we will see the next problem So a sample of air consists of nitrogen oxygen was heated. So it's heated to 2500 Kelvin so until the equilibrium N2 plus O2 is equal to 2NO. Okay. So was established with an equilibrium constant Kc equal to this case is given at equilibrium mole percent of nitric oxide was 1.8. So estimate the initial composition of air in mole fraction of N2 O2. So mole percent of NO is given, Kc is also given. So we have to take the first reaction. So N2 is how much? So we know that so n2 plus o2 so this will give you what 2no hmm? 
so initially how much so initial will be this is your a and this is your 100 minus a so we are taking percentage and this will be zero a uh, final will be how much so final will be so a is this one so this is a minus x and this is your 100 minus a minus x okay and this will be your 2 into x okay 2x 2x and you have to subtract it one more consideration there and again so it is given that given what given that so 1.8 is given here more percent is 1.8 so this is 2x so 2x we have to write it 2x by 100 this is a mole percent 2x by 100 is equal to 1.8 by 100 so x will be how much the x will be your 0.9 now kp is equal to kc this is nothing but the no whole square and divided by n2 and here o2 so as per the log equilibrium so as no is how much 2x whole square and no2 will be your we can write here so a minus x and this will be your 100 minus a minus x and we know the value of x okay so we know the value of x so case is also given so we, we can write here so 2 point this is nothing but equal to 2.1 into 10 power minus 3 so on solving so since x is given 0.9 so we can write here 2x whole square divided by so a minus x and this is your 100 minus a minus x Okay, 2.1 into 10 power minus 3. So A will be your 79% and definitely uh, your A means nitrogen and oxygen that is uh, 100 minus A. So this is equal to nothing. 70, 21. We can write here 21% is the oxygen. Uh, this is the nitrogen. I'm solving this one. P for CO and um, uh, water given this much at uh, 986 degrees centigrade is 0.63. Uh, Case is given 0.63 in mixture of 1 water is 1 mole and carbon monoxide is 3 mole. It is allowed to react to common 20 equilibrium. The equilibrium pressure is 2 atmospheric pressure. So, how many moles of water? Hydrogen is past present at equilibrium and calculate the partial pressure of each gas at equilibrium. So, we have to calculate the partial pressure and how many moles of hydrogen are present at equilibrium. So, so we can see here. So first we write the equation carbon monoxide plus water it will give you carbon dioxide plus hydrogen. So this is a gas, this is a gas. Okay. So initial mole, initial mole will be how much? So this is your 3, this is 1, and this will be your 0 and 0. And mole at equilibrium, so mole at equilibrium will be how much? So this is your 3 minus x, 1 minus x, this will be your x and x. So total mole at equilibrium. So total mole at equilibrium will be, so this is, if you solve it, so 3 minus x, this is your 1 plus 1 minus x plus 2x equal to 4. So this is, this is coming about 4. So now Kc, so Kc will be how much? So Kc will be uh, x square divided by 3 minus x into 1 minus x. So this is nothing but the 0 0.63. So we can calculate x equal to 0 0.681. So this is the x. So moles of hydrogen will be how much? So this is nothing but the mole of hydrogen will be 0 0.681. Now second thing is that total pressure at equilibrium. So total pressure is asking the total pressure at equilibrium will be how much? So this is nothing. So they have given here two atmospheric pressure. Equilibrium pressure is too much. Two atmospheric pressure. The total pressure at equilibrium is two, and total mole is total mole is 4 so partial pressure of co2 will be how much so partial pressure of co2 in h2 will be mole fraction into p base uh, total pressure so mole fraction is 681 this is the mole fraction and this divided by 2 by 4 so mole fraction uh, uh, of uh, uh, partial pressure will be this much p by 4 2 by 4 so this is the so on solving we will get here 0 0.34 atmospheric pressure okay so total pressure and this is the mole fraction so here this is the total mass divided by total mass it is like this one so here write it partial pressure of carbon monoxide will be 3 minus x and divided by 4 into p so this is nothing but the 1 by 4 atmospheric pressure similarly uh, partial pressure of water will be how much so again 1 minus x x we know that that is uh, 
0 0.681 so if you divide it divide by 4 and total pressure is again so we have 2 so 2 will say so here we will get 0.16 atmospheric pressure so you calculate here because we know x x we know that so x is 6 uh, 0.68 if you solve it you will get this answer so here a mixture of one mole of CO2 and one mole of H2 attached equilibrium at a temperature of 250 centigrade and total pressure of 0.1 atmospheric pressure for the change CO2 is this much. So calculate Kp if the uh, analysis of final equilibrium mixture shows 0.16 volume percent of carbon monoxide. So we can see here carbon dioxide plus H gas. So it will give you CO gas plus H2O in gas. Okay. So most uh, t equal to 0 how many moles this will be your 1 mole this will be 1 mole this will be 0 0 moles so at equilibrium mole at equilibrium will be how much this will be your 1 minus x this will be your 1 minus x this is your x and x okay and one more thing is given so given that what uh, volume percent of volume percent of co so volume percent of co is 0.16 0 0.16 okay and mole of carbon monoxide is how much x this is the volume per cell is the mole of x okay so now once we can write here uh, here total moles one more thing is total moles at equilibrium is how much at equilibrium so again we can 1 by x plus 1 by x plus 2x so on solving we will get here 2 this is cancelled this cancelled 2 is there so now we can write here so this is the moles of CO2 x and this is the moles of uh, volume percent of CH 0.16 so we can write x by 2 so x by 2 is a mole fraction so x by 2 is nothing but volume percent of this one 100 so here we will get x is equal to 0 0.0032 so here we will get x now Kc is equal to Kp, okay. That is nothing but the x square by 1 minus x whole square, and uh, we know that delta n is 0. Here, delta n is 0, so that's why we can write like this thing. So, again, Kp Kc is equal to 0 0.0032 whole square, and here you can minus it. So, 1 minus 0 0.0032, so this will be your whole square. So on solving, we will get here 1.03 into 10 to the power 5. So, this is our minus 5 this is our kc kp so this is our answer uh, calculate the kp so kp is the this answer uh, 700 kelvin 700 kelvin co2 plus h2 is given this much kc is also given if a mixture of 0.54 mole of co2 and this much mole of hydrogen is heated to 700 kelvin find out the mole of each gas at equilibrium and when equilibrium has been reached another 0.34 the second question you in that equilibrium we are adding 0.34 mole of co2 and this mole of hydrogen to the reaction mixture find the composition mixture at new equilibrium okay so again we have to write so first we write equations co2 plus h2 it will give you co plus h2o so all are in gas conditions all are in gas conditions carbon monoxide plus hydrogen water so this is your there will be concern here we know that kc is equal to 0 0.11 this also we know very well so we can write here at t equal to 0 how much moles so moles are here 0 0.45 and this is also 0 0.45 this will be your 0 0 so at equilibrium so this will be your x this will be x this will be your 0.45 minus x this will be your 0.45 minus x so we can see so kc will be 0 0.11 and this is equal to x square divided by 0 0.45 minus x so this is whole square so since delta n equal to 0 okay so we can write so x by 0 0.45 minus x so this will equal to square root of 0 0.11 okay so on solving we will get here x equal to we get here, see here x equal to 0 0.112 so this is the x value okay so now moles of co2 will be how much so moles of co2 will be equal to mole of h2 okay we can see here so this is moles of a2 moles of co2 say moles of co2 this much equal to moles of h2 this is nothing but the 0.45 minus 0 0.112 so here we we'll get 0 0.338 mole okay uh, similarly mole of co 
equal to mole of H2O. So this will equal to again 0 0.112 mole. This is nothing but X. Now second part is that if you add, so here given if you add 0.34 uh, moles of H2 added to the next mixture, what is the composition of new equilibrium? Okay, so again you have to write here CO2 plus H2. Okay, this will give you CO plus water, and we are adding so at equilibrium. So at equilibrium, how much moles were there? So here moles was 0.338. So this is a 0.34, and this was here 0.34. Okay, and this was how much? This was here. 0.112 and this is a 0.112 okay and if you are adding so after adding so mole for new equilibrium so if you are adding 0.34 so if you add it again 0.34 again you add 0.34 plus 0.34 so this will be your how much so here 0.112 will be added so again in this case so this minus x this minus x and this will be your plus x and here 0.112 so you write here this side 0.112 plus x okay so like this so x will be added so on adding what will happen the second part of the question so here again kc will be remain fixed what is the kc the value of kc we have seen it that is uh, 0.11 so Kc is again equal to 0 0.11 but here will be your 0 0.112 plus x whole square and divided by this will be your 0 0.68 minus x whole square. So on solving so x is equal to 0 0.635. So here again mole of CO2 is equal to mole of S2 will be how much so it will be 0 0.68 minus 0.68 minus 0.635 so we will get here 0 0.05 this is the mole and similarly moles of water equal to mole of CO will be how much so it will be 0.112 and plus 0.635 so here we get answer 0.743 so we got two answer this and this, this is the 0 0.05 0 0.05 Five. This is our answers. Plus NO2, SO3 gives this case is given. If you take one mole of each of the all the four gases, so if you take one mole minus in one liter container, what would be the equivalent concentration of NO NO2? So again, we can write equation SO2 plus NO2. This will give you SO3 plus NO all our gases. So at t equal to zero, how much? This is your one mole, one mole, one mole. So all are one mole. So at equilibrium, how much will be here? This will be one minus x, one minus x. This is your one. This is your x. This is your x. Okay. So in this one mole is taken out. So if you take it out one mole, this becomes. Okay. So this will be how much? If you take one mole of each of the four gases, in one liter container. So one mole. So this will be your how much? this this and this will be your 1 minus x so this will be actually 1 plus x so x plus 1 x plus 1 this is our equations so again we can write it kc because delta n is 0 so kc will be how much so 1 plus x whole square divided by 1 minus x whole square okay so this is nothing but the 16 they have given here kc equal to 16 so on solving we'll get here 1 plus x 1 minus x equal to 4 or we can say x equal to 3 by 5 or 0 0.6 so so uh, volume will be again volume is 1 liter so uh, moles of SO2 will be equal to moles of NO2 so that is how much 1 minus x 1 minus x means 1 minus 0 0.6 this means 0.4 molarity similarly moles of SO3 will be how much moles of NO and this will be equal to 1 plus x so 1 plus x is how much x is 0 0.6 so this will be equal to 1.6 molarity. So this is basically our answer.